Sorry, she caught me there. So we're live this morning. We're live on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And we're going to have some great giveaways this morning. We haven't actually decided what we're giving away. Okay, I'll have a look now. We'll about that in a few minutes. Have a clue what the question is going to be. And so you know yourself, this is live, and we'll just play it by ear, and we'll see what happens. So first of all, we need to do the check-in. So let's see who's watching. So anybody that's watching, give us a big hello there. Let us know where you're watching from. And sure, obviously, we have to do the weather forecast around the country. Well, I have to say today, I'm either having me hot flushes. So are you warm today? You lovely black hat on you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Dave just put me rock and roll um, costume on today. Take that off for fuck's sake. I'm bad enough. To be all looking to see where I bought my hats. <laughs> so today um, we have a, an arrangement planned for you. So another arrangement using the sunflowers because lots of people were writing in to us saying that they had uh, sunflowers growing in their garden and just could we show something simple how to use them. And then during the week, I also put up a top tip about the Lucky Bamboos and somebody was asking how to use the Lucky Bamboos. Now this is a very simple arrangement that I'm going to do, but again, I'm going to use the Lucky Bamboos. But before we start all that, what's the weather like? As I said, it's feckin' melting in Dublin. No sun, dull day, but oh my God, the heat is something else. The makeup is washing off my face here. So we anybody watching, Deirdre? We've, yeah, uh, Facebook's actually very busy. We've already 60 people up on Facebook. Excellent. So we, we have to get up to 200 now before yeah, we get after the last week. giveaway. Yeah. yeah. Last week we hit 260. Any chance of us beating 260? So the way you can help us out is if you click share. So as soon as you click share, it means somebody else then can actually see the video. Or you can start was... a watch party. Yeah, so if you see watch party, click watch party. And so don't worry about what happened. Just just click it anyway. And so we be absolutely fine. Uh, okay, we have Laverne. And she's watching in from Northern Ireland. And the weather is shite. Shite up in light. She says, bring on the already. sun. In Claire Morris, Kathleen is on. And the weather, it's a pure shitey pure day. Shite. Is it raining? Is it raining? And Claire Morris, where's it's that? It's definitely not raining here. No, it's real hot, clammy sweaty sort of weather, that sort of weather really. it is. Amanda Clooney says you look like one of the Blues Brothers. <laughs> They're just having great fun on these feckin' um, Instagram filters, our face, and of course all at my expense. And she keeps saying to me, come over and have a look at it. But so again, I walk over there and gone off the screen, so I can't see myself. Just so. one more shout out, Laura is on and in County Antrim and it's shite. Well, Jesus, seems to be shite. He's on need to come to, to, come to Dublin. It's not shite in Dublin today. It's absolutely sweaty, clammy, and really, really warm. Now, answering a few questions during the week. The door wreaths, okay? The door wreaths seem to be going down a treat. Everybody seems to be making their own door wreaths and they're posting them on the page, which is brilliant. And everyone is asking about how long do the frames last? So I actually just went into our storeroom today and I brought out a couple of bases that I have. These are all ones that I demonstrated ages and ages and ages ago, okay? Some of these are from way before the quarantine or the pandemic. So you're talking like pre-March. So that means like we're middle of April, middle of May, middle of June, middle of July. Four months, okay? So people always say to me, how long do they last? And I, like the straw base is gonna last forever. So do you remember we had the great talk about the straw, the price of straw and the price of hay all over the country? Lee Mitchell and Sligo had the best price for the bales of hay, 350 a bale. And we reckon you'd get about 50, 60 uh, wreaths. I haven't tried it, it's on my to-do list. They're gonna last forever. So that's the one, if you missed that demonstration of how to make the straw base, go to YouTube. Just Google Case Flare School, and I have a video up of me actually doing the straw base. They are going to last forever, and we can use these at Christmas time. So when it comes to Christmas time, and of you that come to me, and you already have your straw bases made, I'll be able to show you how to make loads and loads of door wreaths. And the thing is, like they're great to give us presents, and you can make a few bob on them as well. Okay, now we have the outside of Ireland people are winding us up now because it's sunny in Australia, it's sunny in Malta. Rita, thanks for that. Thank um, it's South sunny Paris. in North Hampshire, Signature. Oh, Signature Ribbons. They're the people that sent us the ribbons on. Yeah, we have them ribbons, um, Signature Ribbons. Not a hand here. We got them during the week. Thanks a million. So this company, Signature Ribbons, and maybe if you're watching Signature, put some links in there. Are you on Instagram or Facebook? They're, but they were on Instagram, but now they're on Facebook. So right, they're on both. If you're on yeah. Facebook, it's probably easier. Put up the links there and we can kind of share it but i am going to use them ribbons on a couple of different designs in the in the next future and i'll show you the samples of ribbons that they sent out and i well they're going to post up their links now so if there's any flowers looking flowers are always contacting us and they're trying to get some fabric um fabric ribbons maybe you could get some of them there where are they? Where are they? just on the bottom shelf on the left and um this company was on to us and they sent us out a couple of samples and i have to say they're lovely so I'll talk about dried flowers in a second. I'm going from one thing to the other. So listen, thanks a million for joining us. So these are bases. They're in a white envelope, Deirdre. Can you put your hand on here? No. 
Don't worry, I'll, I'll do it one of the other weeks. I have, a, I have a plan in my head what I'm going to do with them. So these are bases that I also demonstrated, again, pre-quarantine, pre-pandemic, over four months. And these were done on the Q-Press or the Lay Landing. These weren't kept in the shed and they weren't kept outdoors. They were just kept in kind of like just one of our storerooms. And I normally say they last three months. And you can see there, four months, absolutely not a bother. And if they were kept outside, they wouldn't have went as kind of a browny colour, they'd be fine. But to be honest, once I put the greenery and the decoration on them for making your Christmas wreath, your door wreath, autumn wreath, spring wreath, summer wreath, do you get the idea? You're not going to see them. These will do absolutely fine. And again, I have a video on YouTube showing how to make them lay land day bases. And then these are full of moss. These are the moss bases. Now I know these are really dry, like there's, when I say like I could literally hold them on my little finger, you know what I mean, there's, I just can't describe how light these are. There's no weight in them at all. And again, we didn't store these outside or in a shed, they're just stored in a storeroom. And I normally tell you, I didn't store them this way, I do tell you when you're storing them, to put them on a sweep and brush handle, and like have them all kind of like that, you know, the kind of that direction. And if you could suspend the sweep and brush handle so that they're actually not sitting on the ground. But being completely honest, I went up to our storeroom there just a little while ago to grab these and they were sitting on top of each other like that. And you can see they're perfect. Now they're done about four months. Now I normally say a moss frame will last six months, a Q-Press frame will last three months, and you can see the one there that's there, four months, and a straw base will last forever. So I'm planning in the next week or two to go back to door wreaths, okay? So that's just showing you the selection of bases that you can use. And the three videos, how to make them bases, are all on our YouTube channel. So the moss base, the Q-Press base, and the straw base. People say, which one is the best? Whichever one you get for nothing is the best one, okay? They all are great there. And again, like if you're able to get the moss for nothing, the Leilandi for nothing, or the straw cheap enough, you're absolutely flying. Any questions? Oh, no, um, the weather's gorgeous down in Wexford and in Waterford, just, just to let you know. It's a disaster not being able to go on holidays, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I tell you, I'm absolutely cracking up. But the sun is shining here in Dublin, I'd be happy enough to lie out on my sunbed in my tiny little back garden. Now, I was going to mention when I was saying about the ribbon stair earlier on. They posted the link. Signature oh, fair ribbons. Oh, yeah. um, what I'm planning is dried flowers are massive back on trend now, okay? And it's gas, like I used to love dried flowers like back in the 80s. I'm giving away my age now. I used to do, I was the king, the queen of the dried flower arrangements. So I'm actually dying to, and itching to get back doing them again. And I'm actually going to do some of the designs that we did back in the 80s because I can see everything coming back on trend again. And that's when I seen the ribbons, I said, oh, but my leg is, oh, I thought it was a spider on my leg. The bare grass, the bare grass on the floor there wiggling against my leg. Thomas is a spider around the moss. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using some of them fabric ribbons for. But talking about dried flowers, we had jip here during the week and there was some left over and I was actually going to dump it in the bin, you know what I mean, it was in water and I kind of, I kind of dried out. And then I just said to Deirdre, do you know what, hang a wire around the end of it and we just hung it on a hook here in the classroom and it's just drying out perfect. Now the colour of it isn't great, but what I am going to do, and I'll show you this when I get to it, okay? In the flare wholesalers, but don't worry if you don't go to the wholesalers, I'm going to show you something else. In the flare wholesalers, they sell these aerosol sprays. It says Oasis on them because Oasis is kind of a brand name. So these are sprays, aerosol sprays that you can spray on your fresh flowers that are dried. You can actually spray these on fresh flowers as well, by the way. But they will do on your dry flowers if you want to spray them a different colour. Where that chip, as I said, is kind of a, a dirty looking colour to me. So I'm going to spray it to get it. I don't know what colour I'm going to spray it. I haven't decided. I'm just kind of talking about it at the moment. But in Lidl and Aldi there, um, like all year round, but at Christmas time, they had all these aerosol sprays and they had them all in different colours. Now normally we were always kind of taught or were told that it had to be the Oasis spray to spray on the fresh flowers or the dried flowers. Well, I was stuck here one day and I used the, the Lidl and the Aldi sprays, which were only 3 99 or 2 99 They were really cheap and they worked 100%. So, and there's a better selection of the sprays in Lidl or Aldi and they're a fraction of the price. Liz so Mulvey I, says she says that she bet you'll spray pink. Probably. <laughs> probably. So anyway, um, have a look for the sprays and um, if you do have any flowers left over like that, that you can hang it upside down. Like sea spray, limonium, the status, um, gyp. Solidaster, that spray, that dries out really easy. There's a good few of them. The best thing to do, rather than throwing them in the bin, tie a wire or a string around them, hang them upside down. Best place is somewhere dark and dry. 
I didn't put them somewhere dark, I put them in the classroom, and as you can see there, they're drying out no problem at all. So we better move on to our flare arrangement, okay. So what I have, I'm gonna use the same container that I used last week, um, just I was a bit under pressure, and um, I hadn't got another container organized, so I'm using this one again. It's a bit of a rush job. And I have it filled with wedgie pieces of foam, and it's filled with water, so it's quite heavy. And last week, I showed you how to cut the foam to fit it into the container. But this week, I don't want the oasis to come up quite as high. So last week, when I was doing the liposuction, do you remember I was cutting the fat off the arse and the hips of the oasis to mould it into the shape that I got a kind of a mushroom shape? Go back to last Friday's live if you missed it. This week, I just came down the sides of it because I wanted the oasis to go right down into the pot. I barely wanted it to come up over the edge of it. So you more or less could say that this pot is full of foam, okay? Because all the wedgie pieces, I got my knuckles and I literally pushed it down that's really, really solid. And like these were pieces that's not costing me anything. So very simple display. So using um, the Lucky Bamboos. You probably only get these in a flower shop. Supermarkets don't normally sell these. It's well worth to go and invest in two, three or four of them. They last for What ages. are they called? Lucky bamboos. Oh, okay. All right, okay, do you get the hint, hint, hint? Okay, right. <laughs> we were trying to think of a question for the quiz. I'm not saying anything. Um, so you could buy a few of these in a flare shop. They last, I'm telling you, six months. People will tell you five years, 10 years, and 15 years, depending on how lucky you are, okay, how long they can last. These little shoots keep continuously growing. I, ha I haven't got them now, but I had a good few of these in a vase for, I'd say about a year and a half, two years, um, just on the kitchen table. And we've um, skylights in the kitchen. And them shoots, well, it must have been about that length they were coming up out of them, where they were growing towards the light all the time. And just to point out, in case you missed the video, I'll go in there close, I'm not sure if you can see it, but just where I'm pointing with my finger there, right, where the edge of the lucky bamboo is. Yeah, yeah, see that, right? yeah. And again, I'll just take up one of the other ones there. So kind of just in there. It's kind of like where the growers, they cut the lucky bamboo there and they put wax on it. So it's like that green wax that you put at the back of an envelope, not that I'd ever put wax on the back of an envelope, but you know that type of, it's like that kind of hot wax. So they put wax there, so the, the bamboo can't grow anymore, right? It stops it growing. But what happens is all the energy is in the lucky bamboo and it's trying to shoot out. And that's where these little shoots start coming. And if you get a pin, literally the top of a pin, and make another little hole there or anywhere that you want, so like even if you did it down there, but if you make another little hole in the bamboo, Next of all, you'll get another shoot coming out of them. Now, I cut most of them short, so most of the roots have been cut off them. But when we bought them in, like they were a good bit longer, and the roots were knotted and matted into each other. Do you know that way? So you could leave the roots on them, you could plant them, or just leave them in a vase, like a, not a glass vase, obviously, because it might look as nice. But I used to have like a big, um, like a milk jug, you know, like a big kind of a big plastic enamel, not plastic, enamel kind of creamy uh, container. And you couldn't see the roots at the end. And they just, they thrive for ages. As I said, I had mine for a year and a half. I normally say about six months. So what I'm going to do is point off the end of them. And in the center, I'm going to do this as an all round arrangement. So this would do as a centerpiece. So I'm going down through the block of oasis that I had in the center, but also um, down through the wedgie pieces. So I'm going to do a group of two or three of these lucky bamboos coming up in the centre, kind of keeping them the same height. But if you want to bring some of them a little bit smaller or a little bit taller, you can. Now, some of you might ask, well, what could you use instead of the Lucky Bamboo? Remember last week I used the artificial um, grass? Do you remember the, uh, what was it called? Bear grass. You could use that instead to come up in the centre, or you could use some twigs. Now, I have loads of bear grass here. We just got, I don't know how we ended up with so much bear grass. So this is what the real bear grass looks like. So last week I used artificial bear grass. So what I just have done is I've just taken a few stems out. I've trimmed a little bit of the white rooty part off the end of it. And using one of the wires, now any wire that you have, I'm using a 20 because it's right beside me. But a 22 would do the exact same job. You make what's called a hairpin bend. So hopefully you can see that little hairpin bend. Yeah. And you can make it smaller. I'm making it big so you can see it. You rest it on the end of the bear grass. So it's not hooked around the bear grass. It's resting. Now, when I'm doing this, I normally do it on this side facing me. But I'm just doing it on this side so you can see it. And it makes no difference. Squeeze it together with your finger and thumb at the bottom. Your strong hand. So I'm right-handed. You're looking at this backwards. So with your strong hand, hold the wire halfway down. And wrap that around two, three, or four times. And then you can cut the wire back off again. And that's how you can make the bear grass. You see into little groups if you want to make it stand up. 
So I have wired up a few of them. So can you see the way I'm just kind of bringing it up in through? Just a question, bamboos. Jeanette. Yeah. Um, Liz wants to know if you cut the roots to use the lucky bamboos. Yeah. Um, can will they still last? We can I still keep know. them. So there's a little I think they will. Leaves. I, I think they'll actually they start to re-root again. I think the roots... Oh, does she mean... Oh, I thought she meant the bit that you cut off. Would that grow again? Oh, oh, I don't That's know. Maybe... I don't, oh, she could oh, be asking the, that. Like the top part. So, yeah. So, same with these. There was, a, like, about that much on the end of the list. And I came along and I cut it off. And I, I threw it in the bin. I thought the question was, the bit I threw in the bin, would it grow? And I actually think it would. I think it Genuinely would, yeah. don't know. Um... If you're in Dublin, call in and I'll give you a couple of them and you can bring them home and you can try them because I genuinely don't know. It's not something I've tried, but I actually couldn't see any reason why they wouldn't. Um, be like kind of reason. What, is, what animal is it when you cut something off to grow another one? I don't know. I don't know. Anybody know? There's another question for you. There is an animal or something and when you cut something off to grow another one. Is it an octopus or something? Don't, I don't actually know. know. Anyway, there's a bit of lucky bamboo. So you can see we have lots of movement in the arrangement. So do you remember last week when we talked about contemporary? Just move this up to one side. I said one of the rules is you have to have movement in your flare arrangement. And there we have plenty of movement with our grasses and with our lucky bamboos. Now, the sunflowers. A couple of questions about the sunflowers. Last week I showed you a couple of little tricks with the sunflowers. And I said to give the top of the head, these are actually quite strong, but to give the head a little bit more support. If you get, I would prefer a 20 gauge wire now. I am using 20 gauge. If you, I'm just slightly flexing the head. Like I'm not trying to straighten it completely, okay? So just slightly flex the head. Get a strong wire, stick it down through the centre of the flare and kind of tease it down into the flare stem. But just make sure it doesn't come out through the stem, okay? And I can just about feel that going down through the stem. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip off the rest of that wire there. And that just gives it an extra little bit of support. Because you do find what happens is they need lots of water. And if there's any delay on the water going up through the stem, the head is inclined to go over. So that's inclined to hold the head up a little bit straight while the water gets up. But what I would say to you, when you cut your sunflowers, I didn't mention this last week, okay? Um, but it's something that I do to them. So when I get the sunflowers in from the wholesalers, but you go out to your garden and you cut them, okay? Bring them in, cut a good chunk off them, good 45 degree angle, and I want you to put them into a vase of cold water with flower food in it. Now, after a while, now the wild can be an hour or the next day, right? So whenever you want to come along, like obviously before you're going to use them, right? is then put about three inches of boiling water in the end of a vase. I just done it there earlier on this morning. Now, this is not boiling anymore, okay, because it's obviously gone cold. But I just put a couple of inches of boiling water into the end of the, the vase here. So these sunflowers were already in cold water. So then I recut them again, and I put them down into the boiling water. And I left them there until the water went back cold. So they were there for probably two or three hours. So it's not like you're saying you're putting them in for 25 seconds or 25 minutes. or There's no particular time. Just stand. A bit like I often tell you to do that to your hydrangeas as well. Go to the hydrangea video on my blog on the website, flareskillirelands.com. And I'll show you, I, I do show you a blog of how I treat hydrangeas. But I do the sunflowers exactly the same. So I place them in the boiling water, they drink boiling water, the water cools down, I leave them for about, you know, an hour or two after that, and then I'm ready to use them. Do you ever have a question for um, Lizards grow a tail with their cut off. I knew there was somebody. I knew starfish that. also regrow their limbs. Starfish, it wasn't up with us. Starfish, I'm thinking about. And Liz Mulvey says she's now starting to worry when did they get to the animal arranging module. <laughs> I know, have you seen all the animals? Oh my God. There was a photograph I posted last night on this Flair School page. Um, it's a la I think it's a Labrador. A Labrador or a Retriever. Kate Smart owns, owns her. Lulu is the dog's name. And the dog is just lying there and she has her funeral wreath lying against him. He's absolutely gorgeous. And Joan Muldrew, I haven't posted them yet, posted fabulous photographs today. And we've horses, chickens, sheep, goats, cows. She must have went to a farm in Antrim. And we've gorgeous ones. Did you see the ones of the hand-tied bouquets and the little black kittens standing up looking into the hand-tied bouquet? And Olga up in the north as well. She had a black cat midnight. That's right. Oh, there's some fantastic photographs. It just makes such a difference. We have a very um, animal-friendly group this week we have. So now I'm going to get my um, sunflowers and I want them approximately here. I don't want to bring them up too high because I don't want to kind of hide my lucky bamboos. What was bamboos. the name of them? Yeah. Lucky bamboos. Lucky I don't want to hide lucky okay. bamboos. I think we might have a little competition. What right, so what's going to be the prize? Now, we okay. did say yesterday, and Jesus, you were a cocky bunch you are. Yesterday we said, like, what video would you like to win? And she was all started to say the module two and the module three. We just fuck off. They're 800 euros. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the way of that. 
and ask me many. There's no way I get one of them programs. So I know the hand tied bouquet went down a treat last week. They yeah. did like that one. And you've seen the hand tied bouquets that the girls made. Now we only post out the kit to you. We don't post out the flowers to you. But I think we'll definitely do a hand tied bouquet. Okay, one. right. So right. it's gonna be a one hand tied bouquet one. And we post out the kit, so we need your address for that. Yeah. And what's the other one gonna be? I think the other one is going to be the floral table rings. Oh yeah, there's that's actually, a gorgeous There's one. actually three um, rings in it. There's that's right, there's one, one for a wedding. So anybody a... that's interested in weddings, you go for that one. There's Christmas one and there's an autumnal one in it. So there's three designs in that. Um, it's 250 euro, like it's, so it's a great so one. You're not getting second 800 euros, but we give you a 250 euro one. Okay, so this would be, is, the question is, Oh, by the way, it's so going to be one on Instagram and one on One on Instagram, one on Facebook and YouTube. We have five people watching us on YouTube oh, right. so at the YouTube, moment, so we'll do have, one on YouTube. definitely a winner. Now, you just have to say till the end, last week the YouTube one stood a bump. <laughs> no, do the bump. So, the question is, oh, before I ask the question, Jeanette, they're all loving your T-shirt. All right. Do you know what? We got these T-shirts from China. I had one on yesterday in white. It was the exact same, um the exact same design this is the extra extra large so you know if you're buying from china it's a little bit big but i'm hoping i'm a diva when i wash anything everything shrinks that i wash so i'm hoping with this shrinks it'll fit me a little bit better i don't want to grow into it but this is the double extra large t-shirt just to let you know anybody buying from china okay so the question is what are the name of those curly things sticking up in the middle of the arrangement and on facebook we're going to do the 20th right answer okay. on Instagram we're going to do the I think we've a lot of people watching on Instagram do you know what we're going to do the 20th answer on Instagram okay. as well and on YouTube we've six people watching on YouTube I'm going to give it to it's very hard how do I do it on YouTube like like just put the six names into a hat and do give it to six names? I don't know how you would yeah it out on YouTube. yeah I'll put, put the names into a hat on YouTube oh Rosemary Kelly has just posted on YouTube um well, I think now that's our first Oh, so has post. Michelle Roberts. Oh, oh Michelle. okay. <laughs> she was just about to say something, but now I can't. Do you know what? Well, they'll have a one in six chance of yeah. winning. So, um, and David Stone has posted on YouTube as well. Oh, we, we've actually wrong. never had anybody posting no, on YouTube. No, nobody so. has ever posted. Do you remember what Bon Benny did? That's this right. This a little bit loose, but I'm going to be catching this in now with a little bow. So can you see the effect? I just want to bring this one down. There's a funny bend on this one, and it's the last one, so I have to use it. Get down there another bit, you beckon bit. There we go. Grab it, grab it in there. And what I'm going to do with these was I made a small little um, bow. I'm just, I'm going to leave my tails long enough I did on it. I made a small little kind of organza bow, and I'm just going to tie these together. Now, I have another bit still to do with this arrangement. What's it looking like so Yeah, no, it looks actually lovely. But this yeah. one is a bit it, yeah. it is. But, um... Anyway. It's... It is what it is. It's live television. It's a bent one, and there's nothing I can do with it, so you just have to suffer this one, okay? <laughs> um, but so yeah. doing this live, I take it back out and fix a butcher. I can't do nothing because they're all watching me. <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah so on youtube we're going to put six names or seven names or however number of comments we have into a hat and we're going to pick the winner from that and as i said 20 dancer i used these leaves last week these are fatty leaves out of my own garden so what i do to the back of them is um, this one is actually not a great one but i have another few there anyway i must have been blind when i was picking them this morning imagine your hand and your five fingers then look at the leaf and kind of imagine them as being like fingers and look at the back and pick the one that you think is in the middle which would be that one there and about halfway up the leaf with your 20 gauge wire or your 22 gauge wire you do what's called a hairpin bend in through the little vein bring the wire halfway put your finger over the little stitch as we call it bend the two pieces of wire you see down onto the stem and then you can wrap one wire around the stem and around that spare piece of wire and what it does is i can then afterwards curve the leaves so i have a few of them already wired here in advance so i have these wired already so i now i'm just going to curve them I'm going to cut them short and I'm going to stick them down into the floral foam at the bottom. And I'm going to use these as kind of camouflaging. I had actually picked a bit of eucalyptus. Actually, I'm not putting them water. I haven't got a hand. I had picked eucalyptus this morning, again, out of my own garden. And I was going to use some of that. Um, again, it's more just to show that you can use material out of your own garden. Ah, uh, the numbers on Facebook are now starting to rise. That they're all commenting. But we'd like you to share as well, yeah, guys. Don't forget, everybody. Are you up to the 200 yet? No, you? we're not. So the we're price... not anywhere near 200. So we can't be giving away prizes unless we get to the 200 girls and boys. So start clicking share. It's on your right-hand side there. Just click share or click watch party. 
and um, we get the numbers up on the page. And it's starting to rain in Mulrani. That's down in Mayo, I think. Well, yeah. Who was them? Um, Rosemary Lamb says um, she loves the demos. They're very informative, very easy to follow, and she's really enjoying ah, it. Brilliant. I'm glad you're and that's really it. what we're trying to do. It's just sort of, it, then, these are not the commercially type arrangements we would do on our courses. It's just... It's just to show you something different. You're using kind of materials out of your own garden. I am going to have to use that bandy leaf because I need an extra leaf. So I'm not mad about this one, but sure, I'm going to have to use it because I need an extra leaf. Again, so sure, it's live show. And then I have another small one here, and I'm going to group that one on top. Now, I'm not completely finished yet, so again, just to kind of give you an idea. That's actually see, lovely, this, yeah. Like. Now, I have my leaf shine. Where did I put the leaf shine? Jesus, um, you're all over the shop this, this morning, Jeanette. I'm all over the shop here this morning. I can't see the bloody, the bloody leaf shine. I did, maybe I left it inside. Now, I had loads of bear grass. Remember I said I had tons and tons of bear grass? Anybody pass and wants a bunch of bear grass, call into me. So what I'm just doing with the bear grass... I see Jenny Gombelli is on, so she might... Yeah, there's another two bunches there. Yeah. If you want to, Jenny, if you're passing down, you're more than welcome. So just getting the bear grass, and then I'm just looping over the top. And when I do that, I give it a little bit of a shake, and then there's always a few stragglers, and I just kind of bring them back down again. I'm going to hold them in my left hand. I'm going to get my scissors, don't cut your fingers, and cut off all the rubbish. And then get a wire and make what I call a hairpin bend, same way I showed you earlier on. Wrap the wire around and then I'm going to cut the wire shorter. And you see the way I've made these little loops. So I've made loads of them and I'm going to bring them in and out through the uh, fatsy leaves. And again, it's just to give me more movement and again, something that's a little bit different. And it was more because I just had loads of bunches of it and I said, what will I do with this? And I don't think this would dry out. So that's why I'm just kind of doing something a little bit different. And some of my loops are kind of sticking out a bit mad looking like that one there. You can cut them or you can leave them sticking out. It's completely up to yourself. So there's plenty of movement in this arrangement. Now if anybody obviously in your house or your garden, you probably haven't got bare grass. But you know the cordyline leaves? Again, I've used them, I think last week I used them. Do you remember I bent them over with the stapler? If you have nails and you strip that with your nails, you'll get skinny little bits of grasses. It's not exactly the same, but I'm telling you, it does work, you know, that way. And it gives you kind of a, a similar effect if you are looking for something to make lots and lots of loops. So again, another few loops. I just want to bring a few more into the center. So get your bit of bear grass. Curve it from the top, not the bottom. So curve the top over, give it a little bit of a shake, catching the stragglers if you want to. Left hand on top, cut off the wires, little wire, hairpin bend, and then wrap it around the end of it. And that's how you make them. Okay, so give me a number between one and nine. Any number? Two. Okay, that's the winner. Two is my lucky number. Okay. We can... Have our YouTube winner. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We always, my mum always told us that number two followed our family, and I live in number two. And the reg on my car is two, 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 two. I think there's five twos or four twos. So I'm mad into the twos. The twos follow me. So if you ever have to, if you ever ask me to pick a number, remember it's always going to be a two that I pick. Now the last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a little bit of moss. So we're still working out that bag of fresh moss that the girls got us in Wexford. I'm going to give this one a bit of a hair trim. There we go. Pull that one off there as well. So do you remember the girls um, got the moss? There's more of it at home, by the way. This is an old. They got loads of it, they did. They must have had a really big handbag to get this oh, moss. Oh, it was very fancy. It was <laughs> fancy all over the place today. So I'm just going to grab some of the moss. And um, because I've just left this in the bag, it's nearly dried out in the bag. And I'm just going to use little pieces of it. I'm going to press it down into all them little nukes and crannies, kind of hiding it, okay? It'll probably just dry in there. When I was actually taking... Um, one of the arrangements apart that I had used moss on myself was gas that had all just dried out. So in between the leaves there, I'm sticking in little bits of moss and then I'm going to make a few little wires and I'm going to pin the moss on. Now make sure when you're making arrangements that you do what I'm doing, you put your arse in the air and bend down and look into the arrangement at the, like the in underneath, you know that way, the mechanics of the arrangement. And then what you can do is you can get some wires, I'm getting a few wires together at the same time. And I'm going to cut them into pieces about that length. So here we are, so just cutting them all at the same length. And then I'm going to gather them up in my hands. I'm not pulling out one of my loops. Gather them up in my hands and I'm going to bend them all at the same time. Now my hand is very strong. And what I've just done then is I've made loads oh, of... Oh, we're 200. Bed. Okay, we've hit the 200 girls. Now we can give the prize away. Now we can give the prize. Okay, I have my winner on Facebook and I have my winner on YouTube. And I'm just 
checking my winner. So what Instagram. I'm doing with these hair pins is I'm now pinning the moss on to stop it falling out, okay? Now you can spend more time than I am spending pinning it all on and making sure that it gets really moist. Now that container is full of water, but what I would recommend you to do, especially with sunflowers, you could do this in hydrangeas. This will be fabulous in hydrangeas. If anybody near to me, if Jeanette, anyone um, has loads yeah. of hydrangeas, drop right. them to me. Anybody has hydrangeas, drop them into me. I'd be delighted and I'd do a demo with them. On Instagram, Paul at Life at Number Two is on and he's like, grab the mosses. Oh, the number two. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya Paul, how are you? Um, okay, we have our winner on Instagram as well. So we won't announce the winners for a little while because what will happen is she's will all run away. Well, she's sure, nearly finished now, yeah. We're nearly finished, nearly okay. Finished. That wasn't bad. I know we were a bit late starting. So a couple of pins in that. Clean off the table. Sweep it all into the bin that's just underneath me. It is all right. Uh, get a turntable. Stick it up on the turntable. It's going to be too high. There we go. Get it up out of the rubbish. And there you go, there's your centerpiece. So I hate that, that, that sun flare is driving me mad, but there's nothing I can do with it, right? It just has a funny bend on it, and it's a bit bigger than the other ones. So I'm gonna put it kind of facing that way. Does that side look okay, dear? Yeah. So there's our see. funny one. Yeah, Kurt. Oh, actually, do you know what? It's gorgeous. When you look at it in the camera, it's actually lovely. Oh, thanks, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually not too bad. You sort of know what you're bad, doing a little bit, don't you? <laughs> just about, just about. Just about. Just right here, That's it. So listen, everybody. Thanks a million for joining in with us. Hope you've had a little bit of fun. And we're going to see you next Friday. But we're going to announce the winner. Okay, so the winner on YouTube, I got, there was nine comments. And I asked Jeanette to pick between one and nine. And she picked two. So Michelle Roberts, you're the winner on YouTube. So what's she winning there? She's winning the... Um, Hand tight. She's already on it, I think, isn't she? Michelle, are you on the hand tied book? Module two, already? I think she is. Michelle Roberts, no, she's no, she's not. Okay, so we give her the hand tied course right. then. If there's a problem, Michelle, that you've done that one already, just let us know and we'll change it to something else. So you get the hand tied bouquet course. We need your address so that we can send out the kit. Yep. On Instagram and on Facebook. The winners is on Facebook. It was Laverne McConnell. Okay, Laverne. And on Facebook or Instagram, it was Laura Conita. So Laura Conita. So both of you have won the table ring. So that's the standalone course we have on our website. So email us and um, because then we can if you email us it's handier because we can send you back a code straight away and then you'll be able to log into the program straight away and you can watch it. So, so info at flareschoolirelands.com. So Michelle, you've won a course worth 350 euro and the two on Facebook and Instagram have won 250 euros each. Yes, so you. we've been very it's generous like today. Doing the lotto. How much money did we give away tonight? <laughs> your woman's name you know um, just as you, before you go Ashlyn Walsh is on say hey, Ashlyn. hello Auntie Jeanette and Auntie Deirdre from a very wet Sligo oh it's raining down there yeah and Ashlyn uh, a goalpost fell on her head yesterday oh. which is okay she is but she got a little bit of a bang in the head but oh. I woke you up Ashlyn didn't you I hope you're okay today so that's it okay see you all listen thanks a million for joining see you all next Friday 11 o'clock same place same place same time see you all bye bye bye